good day to all the learners deck viewers out there uh, with the regular LMS that is the learning management system we also need to find out a software which can actually let us uh, invite or initiate trainings or video tutorials as well uh, by using this software you can also conduct online classes and uh, if you are a leadership team member so you can also convey different meetings through this software the software is free for our purpose so we don't need to pay anything for this the name of this software is zoom and we'll see what are the different meeting settings and how we can schedule a simple meeting through zoom so uh, this is your home screen once you have signed up which is totally free you'll come to this uh, home screen and here you can see that the very first option here is profile then it comes to meeting webinars recordings and settings so uh, here we'll see what are the setting options available within zoom we'll click on the settings and here it appears that uh, there are three different tabs the first one is meeting the second one is recording and the third one is telephone so we will look into these options one by one so let's start with meeting the very first option here is meeting uh, the first option is schedule meeting you can schedule a meeting and if you would like to host a video you can always click here and enable this option you would like to see that each of your participant is available through video you can enable this option as well the next option is join before host so i believe that uh, we are living in an agile world so today nobody should be uh, bound on it should not be around the boundaries that uh, all the participants need to wait for the host so you can enable this option and this option will make sure that for example if you are late in the meeting or if you are coming after two or three minutes your participants can be able to join this meeting without you and can actually uh, initiate the trainings or the videos that you would like to make through this zoom particular video conferencing use personal meeting id you can always enable this require a password when scheduling a new meeting this is important because if somebody is using the account a new password or the same password is always required this some of the password related options are here now we'll see that if you would like to mute participants upon entry so for example a new participant has just recently joined the zoom video and you would like its video or audio to be in mute status so i would suggest you should do this if you are conducting a conference call upcoming meeting reminder it's very important as you have couple of meetings scheduled daily so you need to find out that uh, there is a reminder for your meeting maybe some minutes before now you would like to allow chats in between participants and the private chat option is actually a luxury here so for example any participants would like to chat with you personally you are actually allowing him or her you can always disable this option if you think it's not feasible for the conference call which you are setting up auto saving chat is a good option you can always enable this play sound when participants join or leave this may cause disturbance within the conference call so i would recommend that you disable this option but again it's totally dependent on the requirements now the other option is the file transfer so if you are hosting a video and especially if you are hosting a video as a teacher file transfer option is a luxury to have so for example if you have some notes you have some files documents pdf presentations you can always share with your participants through this options now feedback to zoom is uh, a nice to have feature and you can enable this if you want display end to end meeting experience feedback reviews uh, these are all nice to have features so you can check these who can share so uh, i believe all participants uh, is the viable option here but again it depends uh, on the host uh, actually if you like if you are conducting a conference call which is uh, an organization call with conference call and you are conducting it as a leadership management you can make it host only now disable desktop screen share for users i believe you should enable this option because uh, you would allow your participants to share their desktop or screen so they can share the files or the documents which they have so these are the major options that we have in settings now let's go to the recording part 
the recording part is actually important because when you're conducting these conference call you are sitting at a virtual place so we need to make sure that we are keeping the right database with us so we need to make sure that the automatic recording is enabled the recording consent is enabled and then you also need to make sure that multiple audio notifications of recording meetings are also enabled so that you are aware of the fact that something is being recorded now the other options here are local recording i will always recommend local recording you don't need to rely upon on the cloud recordings local recording will let you record your conference call at your own system hardware or desktop and maybe notebook if you are giving a conference call with a laptop the third option that we have within setting is telephone so telephone will actually allow you to select different mediums of connectivity in our case i would always recommend a pc as a connecting medium in other cases you can definitely have some other options as well so you can now go to this recording tab and see if you have selected the right option see as i told you there are two types of recording the cloud recording that is being done through zoom itself and the local recording so i would always recommend to enable local recording so that you have the data that you need to keep with you now in order to set up a meeting go to this meeting tab the meeting setup is very easy the best part about zoom is you can use it with any software and you can use it with ease now you need to schedule a meeting there are three tabs within the meeting the previous meeting meeting templates so you can also allow yourself or you can also view the history of the conference calls which you have actually set up you can always get the training in case you have any problems setting up a call let's schedule a new meeting so i'll click on the schedule a meeting my meeting name is introduction i'll write here a description which is optional but you can always write down something i'll write here some xyz when is the meeting i'll try to schedule it at 11 am i'll keep it this way the duration of meeting will be 1 hour and here i need to select the time zone so it depends on which region you are living in and you can uh, adjust the time zone accordingly recurring meeting is an important option so for example if you have weekly three classes on alternative days you can allow this uh, or check this recurring meeting and it has different periodicity so you can set it daily weekly monthly or no fixed time if you have a different repeated date and you can set it from here the end date is also available so if you think that the course is for 6 weeks only you can set the end date after 6 weeks or maybe after 6 or occurrences meeting password is totally dependent upon you if you think you are conducting a class i don't think meeting password is required because you are teaching your uh, to your students but if you are conducting a official or an organizational meeting as a leadership team member so you need to set up this meeting password as well now the video has two different option host and participant so uh, i would recommend you keep both these options as on because it will allow the host and the participant to be viewed by other members and by the host as well so this will this will allow the videos to be visible within zoom audio uh, for me is the computer audio but you can always select the telephonic audio if it is in the need of the meeting now we have some meeting options enable join before host this uh, we have already done in setting so it is enable and you can check it here as well mute participants upon entry this is uh, i believe an option which a teacher should select but it always depends on you enable waiting room yes waiting room should be enable record the meeting automatically on the local computer please check this option and make sure you are checking this because you don't want to miss what you are actually giving out within this conference call so this is an important option you need to keep in mind that you need to check this particular option save it and you'll see that the meeting will be scheduled accordingly now you can either start the meeting 
or you can add it in Google Calendar, you can add it in Outlook Calendar, Yahoo Calendar, and you'll have a link now. There will be a link, the join URL. You can copy this invitation and send over WhatsApp, email, if you have a social media page, so you can share it there as well. So this is how you need to set up a meeting. It's pretty simple, it's easy, and it's quick as well. Please do use these options and when you're using Zoom, do let us know if there was any problem with you. Make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel, which is Learner Deck. And thanks for watching this video.